It's me, Bussy. They say curiosity killed the cat, but luckily I still have eight lives. Today we'll be dropping serious coin and purchasing the OnlyFans of Shea Coulee, Plastic Tiara, and Katya. I'll be reviewing their content and expressing my personal opinion about what they are posting. At the end of each section, I'll make a recommendation on whether or not I think their subscription is worth it. First up is Katya. Her bio on OnlyFans says the erotic side of Katya Zamolochikova. But before we hit subscribe, a quick message from today's sponsor, Pixel. How many hours a day do you spend scrolling through your phone, staring at your computer and watching television. Personally, since I've been stuck at home these past few months, I've been clocking almost 10 hours of screen time every single day. And maybe like me, you've noticed that your eyes are tired and dry by the end of the day, or you've been getting an abnormal amount of headaches. You see, all these screens are constantly blasting blue light at our eyeballs, which can make our eyes tired, give us trouble falling asleep, and even damage our retinas in the long term. The good news is that Pixel has finally solved this problem with their blue light filtering glasses. I wear my Pixel glasses when I'm spending hours editing editing my videos, scrolling on Instagram in bed, and even when I play video games. Filtering out blue light can help you fall asleep faster, prevent headaches, and reduce eye strain. There's tons of different styles to choose from, and they even have a fit guide on their website to help you find the perfect pair for your face shape. Pixel also offers a 30-day trial, so there's no risk in just trying them out. I'm wearing the Asper glasses and Whiskey Tortoise, and not only do they look hot, but they are helping so much with my eye strain. Click the link in my description box to get $5 off your order of Pixel glasses using my code Bussy Queen. Thanks so much to Pixel for sponsoring today's video. So let's get into it. Katya's OnlyFans page looks like this. Every single profile on this website is like intentionally vague because they want you to subscribe. You literally can only see a profile picture and a really obscure header image without paying to see the rest. The other thing you can see up front is how many times they've posted and how many likes they've received. I personally have never used this platform. I've never subscribed to anybody. So I'm actually gonna have to make an account and then actually pay for these things. I'm kind of nervous. I'm nervous of what we're gonna find. Okay, so I hit subscribe and we see that we're going to get full access to their content. I can direct message, cancel my subscription at any time. There it is. I have officially paid for an OnlyFans for the first time in my entire life. <laughs> Ooh, y'all, what are we about to get into? Okay, the first post on Katya's page says, my pussy came and needless to say, I am excited. Immediately, yeah, I'm a little disappointed. I kind of figured that Katya wouldn't be out of drag on this page, but uh, I didn't expect this. This is basically a giant joke. This is basically a joke. She's wearing prosthetic parts is really all this is so far. It's kind of funny, but it's also like, is this seriously worth it? Okay, so the next video says something Something witchy this way comes. Okay. Mm in this one, she's like sitting in a cage, touching the prosthetic parts that she has attached to her body. In this video, Katya is stepping on a cake wearing heels. There's like smoke on it, trying to make it like really sexy, but it literally is just Katya like flipping her hair around and like putting her feet in the air. This isn't something you couldn't just post on YouTube. This is suggestive, but the actual content itself is not that bad. This one in particular. Obviously, the images and videos with prosthetics could not be shared anywhere else, but like, who really wants to pay for that? I mean, like, get your coin, sis. Like, collect that bag. Okay, the next one we have Katya as a boy in a bathing suit doing a handstand it's in slow motion into a pool. Can't believe I just wasted $10 on this. Okay, the next video is Katya working out with a personal trainer. <sighs> This is mostly a joke from Katya's perspective. Like you can tell she's just having fun with this. It's a way for her to make stupid content. Like, is it mildly entertaining? Yes. Would I pay $10 a month to keep a subscription to this? No. She has quite a few likes, like on every single image. I think the most likes I've seen probably is about 150 on an image. So we know that there is at a bare minimum, like 150 people subscribe to this, which translates to like $1,500 per month right now. Okay, later down the line, we have the exact same video where Katya is messing with the cake. Ugh. Am I totally surprised that this is what I'm looking at? No. And we've reached the bottom. We have seen all 27 posts. There's 47 comments on this. This is everything I needed. Uh, hey, you know what? People need different things. So $10 down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I feel. This is the best decision I have ever made. Wow, okay, we have different standards in life, but that's also okay. This is not for me. If I were going to hot or rot this, I would definitely give this a rot. If you were hoping to 
subscribe to this OnlyFans to see something that you couldn't see on stage somewhere or you couldn't see on her Instagram. Sorry, but this is just not it. It's not, you're not going to actually get to see the, the boy side of Katya, which I think is what people would be more interested in uh, seeing. If this were like $1.99 a month or something, I could see it maybe being worth it. But for $10, I would rather buy a Chipotle burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, next up is Plastique Tiara. So this is actually the most recent OnlyFans announcement and maybe the one I'm most intrigued about. This one, you can tell is going to be very, very different. The announcement photos posted on her Instagram, family friendly, but suggestive. Highly, highly Photoshopped though, I must say, cause you can see there's like images where there's like some side boob and there's no visible lines of plastique or anything like that. Tagline on her OnlyFans page is welcome to the full fantasy. But like, do we really need a full fantasy? I'm going to click subscribe for $22.49. You can also, by the way, subscribe for three months for $72. <gasps> Girl, she's trying to break some banks. The most recent post is a poll where she's asking, do you want boy content or drag content? I'm gonna click boy content because that's what I want. Duh, like that's why I would be clicking on these because I think these are very attractive boys. Like Katya's a good looking guy, Plastique's a good looking guy. <sighs> Big surprise. The first photo on here is just an extended version of what Plastique put on her Instagram page. There's some side boob, there's some butt, which like probably is her real butt. But again, like this is nothing that you couldn't see if she were wearing a Speedo at a pool. Like, if I wanna look at prosthetics, I'll go to amazon.com and look at prosthetics. More prosthetics. I'm guessing these were probably all shot on like a similar day. There is at least more of the prosthetics showing, but like, you know it's fake. Neither Katya nor Plastique have offered anything that is actually real, which I think so far is my biggest issue with this platform is that everything that we've seen is fake or a joke. This one's a glamorous fakeness. And finally, we get down to the first post she made on the platform, which was made on the 19th. Again, she's just wearing prosthetics in a darkly lit room, sitting on a chair, standing in front of a wall. And she does look gorgeous, don't get me wrong. But like, I can see her look gorgeous on Instagram or on TikTok. And I just paid $22.50 for eight posts of which it looks like they were probably all shot on the same day. Who do they think they're marketing this to? Like, truthfully, it doesn't make sense to me. What is this getting me? Nothing, I, I, it, what, ugh. I'm gonna send her a message. Maybe that will make this worth it. It's like a way to contact these people and have a conversation with them. For $22, she better answer, Jesus Christ. Maybe if this were like $1.99, I could see it being worth it to see some really beautiful, glamorous shots of plastic. $22 a month. Don't think so. This is gonna be another rot. Okay, next up is Shea who announced her OnlyFans right after her win of All Stars 5. Hers, a much more reasonable price, $4.99. So Shea says, I'm going to use this platform as a way to share some unreleased shorts, behind the scenes footage, and live makeup tutorials. Plus a very big surprise I'll be announcing soon, so keep an eye out. So I'm gonna hit subscribe. Y'all, it is so easy to spend money on this platform. I can see why people are making banks so hard. That money just goes click, 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 gone. And then it refreshes. You don't even have to do a second agreement, nothing. So Shay has nine posts on her platform. There's two photos. It's an outfit that she wore in the competition and then a photo of her without a wig on. I have a feeling I just wasted more money. She hasn't even updated this platform in three weeks almost? How would this be worth it for anyone? I'm sorry, but if I'm paying that much money, I would at least want to see something once a week. Okay, so I'm watching this video. It's her in detox and like a music video. They're fully clothed. There's nothing, just them sort of dancing in and out of a pool with some cool video editing, which is cute. Like, get your coin. I'm not really sure if this video was posted anywhere else or put anywhere else, but there's no reason it couldn't have been. Like, there's no reason for this to specifically be on OnlyFans. Uh, the next one is a video she posted on August 6th. This is like a three minute video of her modeling a really cute outfit. This is actually really cool. She's wearing some like really fashionable clothing. There's a beautiful hat on, shot from the perspective of somebody like viewing the studio from an outside perspective. This is something actually maybe worth paying for. Uh, uh, the next one is of her Juju and Cracker standing on stairs. It's like a boomerang. <laughs> They're like posing for a photo. And finally we get to the bottom where she's just wearing one of the outfits that she wore in 
All Stars 5. She at least was extremely upfront with what was going to be on her OnlyFans. Oh, and you can see the tips. I wonder if they can turn the tips on or off depending on who they are, because I didn't see any tips on Katya or Plastique's page, but Shay has tips. Since July when she announced this, you would have already paid about $15 for like a couple of behind the scenes videos, but is it worth $4.99 a month for a couple of posts a month? Like maybe like two posts a month or so? No, if you have an extra $5 and you just wanna support her, great, go for it. But she hasn't posted in over two weeks. And if you're somebody that actually wants to get some bang, for your buck. Uh, this isn't a lot of bang for the buck. So the final verdict for me on Shays is that there's just not enough posting frequency or enough exclusive content for me to actually feel like I'm getting my money's worth. It's going to be a rat. So final thoughts. <laughs> After having spent almost $40 on these three queens only fans, honestly, I just feel dirty and taken advantage of and no one likes to feel that way. I guess I was most impressed and least let down by Shays, partly because I guess I had kind of already had my cherry popped <laughs> from the first two and also because she tells you exactly what you're going to be getting. I think my biggest problem with like Katya's and Plastique's are that they don't tell you what you're gonna get. Because in my opinion, they're being intentionally vague because they want to cash in on your curiosity, but you're not gonna see it. Unless, like I said, you really are just interested in having a quick laugh over on Katya's page, or you are into really beautiful fantasy ladies like on Plastique's page. But you could also just buy their merch and actually get something out of your purchase. Like I fully gained nothing from these three accounts. Like it's just not worth it. My biggest recommendation to queens that are using the platform in this way and people that want to use it to engage with their fans more would be to set extremely clear expectations. Don't tell me that I'm gonna get some full fantasy and then just show me like Photoshop prosthetic <gasps> pics. And speaking of clear expectations, I tell you exactly what you're gonna get from me if you choose to support me over on my Patreon. You can get your name and credits, access to my Discord, Discord server, early access to my videos, personal shout outs, and access to my hottest hot pulls for every episode of Drag Race that I review. My patrons make my channel possible, and I want to give a special shout out to Abby, Adam, Alex, Blythe, Caroline, Catherine, Chris, Crystal, Curtis, Derek, Daniel, Ed, Elizabeth, Evelyn, Hannah, Hassan, Ivan, Jake, James, Janine, Joseph, Jude, Kelly, Kevin, Kind of Emo, Kind of White Girl, Manny, Maxwell, Michelle, Michael H, Michael S, Miguel, Onion Fairy, Oscar D, Oscar V, Terry, Rick, Robin, Shado, Sinclair, Stephanie, Susan, Taco Sita, Vanessa, Veronica, Zincat, and Midnight19, who are all supporting me at my hot tier. Bradley, Cameron, Craig, Evan, Glenn, Jenny, Kiki, and John, Sailor, Shannon, Sloth's World, Sunshine, Tina, and Timotheus, who are all supporting me at the hottest hot tier. And Kevin, Marty, Matthew, Mike, and Tom, who are all supporting me at the Bussy Queen Collector tier. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Love ya. Bye.